So in this video, I wanted to briefly talk about the Odo Horizon family of products. I think a lot of people out there will be familiar with this pen. This is the Odo Horizon Ballpoint, also known as the Odo Horizon EU or Euro version. Uh, it's basically known for its nice full metal build quality. It's really loud knock and it just being a cool pencil that's available for it used to be under ten dollars i think i bought this one for six or seven prices have increased a lot i think just as demand has risen but you could still get it for maybe 15 16 dollars it's a cool pen the main problem with the pen is that it does not have much room inside for the refill despite being a normal diameter pen so it uses a skinny little refill like this and the one that comes with it, the Odo Ballpoint, is just not very good. You can see that I've replaced it with a Pilot, it's hard to make this out, but I think it's a BTRF 6F. And I did a quick video about my favorite gel refill for the Odo Horizon Ballpoint. <clears throat> so, cool pen, but the line has expanded out from this. I'm not sure when it happened, but it has happened. And now you can buy it in a pencil, which we'll get to in a minute, <clears throat> and this gel pen. So this is the Odo Horizon gel pen. It's called the Horizon gel, 0.5 millimeter, 600 JPY or about you know $7, $8 retail price. This is the model number. Very much a similar pen to the ballpoint, in that it has a hexagonal body. That hexagon shape goes from a pure hexagon to a circle via this really nicely tapered triangle. You can see the facet goes from being, uh, you know, rectangular basically until triangular till a circle. Uh, the main difference between the two is that the knock goes from being this really nice wide button with a side release to a standard push in push out release, push in, push out. That's it. It's kind of a boring Parker G2 style release. The clip is basically the same. You can see they both kind of look a little bit bent, like they're not straight. Uh, some subtle differences, like here it says Horizon Needlepoint made in Japan Odo, and it's really compressed to accommodate the button. Here, it's a good deal wider, just nice and spread out, and it doesn't have to say Needlepoint anymore because it is a needle point, it's just not mentioned here. I don't know why. Again, this one has, the gel has a small button, ballpoint has a large button. Front pieces are basically, from to my eye, the same. It's that fiddly little thing that is actually quite hard to get on, on and off and will loosen by itself over time. It's really not a great design, but it works in this pencil, in this pen rather. <clears throat> Removing the refill, we could see that it has a standard Parker G2 style refill or Parker style G2 refill. In this case, it's the Odo Gel, the PG 105 NP, which is a fairly popular refill. You could buy these, uh, you know, online if you want. So that is the Horizon Gel Pen. It's a really interesting offering because if you like the Horizon, but you don't like the ballpoint refill or you don't like the like the limitation of that tiny little refill, then you can buy the gel. You will be missing out obviously on the loud knock. You'll have to move to a standard knock and this tiny little button looks a little bit ridiculous. Also, you cannot tell if it's up or down via the button. I know some people like that, uh, but it's fundamentally a very similar pen. And I think I got this one for maybe $7 or maybe $6. I'll link to it in the comments below. Do a quick writing test so you can see the difference between the Odo Horizon gel in the standard 0.5 millimeter refill. Again, this is the one that came with it that I've been using for a few days versus <clears throat> the upgraded refill in the Pilot the upgraded pilot refill in the ballpoint.
So why the Pilot has <clears throat> what I would consider the best refill for the Horizon EU pen, the gel is still a much better refill in my eye. Sorry. So definitely for writing quality, I would say get the gel. Plus, if you don't like this refill, it's very easy to switch it over to an Easy Flow 9000, a Parker gel, whatever you want, like a Quink Flow gel, something like that. Easy swap because it uses a standard refill size. Now we'll quickly hop over to the Odo Horizon pencil. So yeah, this came out, I'm not sure when. I recently landed on it on Amazon or something like that, or Rakuten, I'm not really sure where I got it. And it was cheap, maybe $6 again. So where these prices on the ballpoint have gotten quite inflated, that has not seemed to happen to the pencil or gel yet. Looks very similar to the other two. Same body style, same clip. The button actually looks like a Schmidt SKM button, which is really weird, uh, but it's not. It's just some Odo design. Side knock is back. So this is a double knock pencil. Basically, it has this really weird wide button. Look at it relative to the other one. You push it out. Now the mechanism is extended and you push it more to click your let out. To return it, you let it out. The pencil does not have an obvious eraser or way to refill it because this button does not twist or come out or anything like that. And if you pull this whole thing hard enough, the button will eventually come out, but it's confusing. And then you'll find out that the button is not actually a button, it's just shaped to look like a button. This is a confusing pencil. The refill mechanism is right here, right under the eraser, as you'd expect. And the whole mechanism comes out. You actually just twist, 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 and it comes out. Uh, there you go. You'll notice that it's a very simple standard looking mechanism, fine, but the lead did not come out with it. The lead generally will stay in with the pencil when you do that. So it's a little bit of a fraught process. We'll push this back in carefully. And right now we're not going very far in because we're pushing up against the lead. And we'll see if we can get it in there, but Again, it's going to be a challenge. I'll probably break the lead. And there, you can see the lead actually just slid out. I'll unknock this. I'll twist it. I will get it where it needs to be. Now you push it down. You get the lead out. Put the lead back in there. Put the eraser in. And now we put this piece on twist everything in place, and now push the button back on. And now we're back in action. That is a confusing, confusing mechanism. Uh, not very well done, I will say. But it is a functional pencil, and it was creatively done because clearly Odo did the minimum amount of work possible to get this gel or ballpoint body and other components and cram a mechanical pencil in there. You'll see here that you could see the pencil has a sleeve and it kind of looks like as you push down on the sleeve, more lead is supposed to come out. So to me that says this is a automatic or semi-automatic pencil. I think, I don't think semi-automatic is a thing. I think it's an automatic pencil. Uh, I've tried and it kind of works. So just to hop on that automatic mechanism here, We'll pop this out, push. We'll see some lead is extended. Looks like it's, there you go. So what we're gonna do is you push here, you can see this piece will go in a bit and it will spring back out and grab more lead. That's basically how an automatic mechanism works. So to do that, you wanna keep the lead in the pencil really nice and short and you could write with it. So this is the Oto. Horizon 
EU pencil. It's really not working that great. So I probably wouldn't really use this the way I would a quality automatic like the Renz Nero or even the standard of Renz. I would keep a little bit of extra lead out and even just not be afraid to push the button now and then. That will cause more breakages, but uh, I haven't had a great experience with this mechanism. Like here it is at the zero mark and it's writing. Uh, but I kind of do feel like I'm hitting the uh, hitting the that black plastic piece as I write. It's really not ideal. So again, I would say keep it longer. So yeah, that is a quick look at the Horizon Ballpoint, the original, the Horizon Gel, and the Odo Horizon Pencil. Thanks for watching.